I'm Dr. Bertram Pitt at the University of Michigan School of Medicine, and I'm here today to tell you about the Figaro DKD results. Uh, you hopefully know that there was a prior trial of phenarinone uh, called Fidelio that was presented uh, at the AHA last year, uh, this year, and published in the New England Journal. And that showed that the non-steroidal mineral corticoreceptor antagonist, phenarinone, significantly reduced renal and cardiovascular events in patients with moderate to severe diabetic renal disease. Today, I'm going to tell you about the Figaro trial, the Figaro DKD trial, which was a companion trial in 7,500 patients with diabetic kidney disease. Now, there was some overlap in the populations of Fidelio and Figaro. Uh, Fidelio, as I mentioned, had moderate to severe renal disease. Uh, Figaro has moderate to mild renal disease. And in fact, 60% of the patients entered into Figaro had a GFR over 60, but they had microalbinuria greater than 30 milligrams a deciliter of microalbinuria. So this is a group that often we cardiologists uh, don't pay too much attention to. But in any case, these 7,500 patients with diabetic renal disease were very well treated. 100% were on an ACE and AB and uh, little less than 10% were on a GLP-1 receptor agonist or a uh, SGLT-2 uh, inhibitor, and all the standard therapy. And they were followed for a little over three and a half years. And the result was there was a significant 13% reduction in uh, the primary endpoint, which was cardiovascular death, uh, hospitalization, for heart failure, stroke, or infarction. Uh, and that was, as I said, significant. That was the primary endpoint. There was a secondary endpoint, which was renal endpoints. And the primary renal endpoint was a reduction EGFR by 40%. Now, uh, that trended positive, but was not significant. But the more robust uh, greater than 57% reduction in EGFR, the endpoint that's been used in most prior renal trials, uh, was significantly reduced, as was the need for uh, dialysis and end-stage renal disease. So we showed that in this population of diabetic uh, kidney disease, that phenarinone at a dose of 10 to 20 milligrams a day significantly reduced uh, cardiovascular outcomes, and these cardiovascular outcomes were mainly driven by heart failure hospitalization. There was a 30% reduction in heart failure hospitalization. And uh, as you can imagine with a mineral cortic receptor antagonist, there was hyperkalemia, but the amazing thing to me was the fact that this drug was really well tolerated and less than 1% compared to placebo had to discontinue uh, therapy uh, because of hyperkalemia. So this was an effective drug and well tolerated and much better tolerated than the steroidal MRAs. And many of you may have seen the article recently in Jack from Get With The Guidelines Heart Failure Registry, where the steroidal MRAs, if you had renal disease, are hardly used or tolerated, less than about 20 something percent of people with the GFR less than 45 are, are on an MRA or tolerated. So in contrast to the steroidal MRAs, phenarinone is well tolerated, effective, and I think this is going to have an important role in preventing uh, cardiovascular complications, especially heart failure, as well as the progression of renal disease in patients with diabetic kidney disease. So I think this is really an important advance. Thank you.